With today's release of Generate Press 1.9 and Generate Press Pro 1.7, we get an entirely new way to build websites, including being able to build and style classes right inside the editor. Now, if you're coming from a system like Oxygen or Bricks, this style of working won't be new to you. But if you've been working in Generate Blocks or Elementor or any of those other page builders for a long time, you're gonna have to shift the way you think about building websites. Now, I am gonna warn you, it's gonna feel like a little bit more work up front, but I'm gonna demonstrate in this video just how much time you're gonna save on the back end by using a class first approach. So in this video, I'm gonna use a really simple example to show you the old way and new way so I can show you just what a huge change this is for Generate Blocks. With that said, let's dive in and take a look. So before we jump in and I start showing you the new way to do things, I wanna do a quick reminder on how we've been doing things all along. I think seeing these things back to back is gonna show you what a discrepancy there is between the old way of doing things and how much more efficient it's gonna be using the new way of doing things. So what I've set up here is just a simple section. I have a container with an inner container. Inside that is a grid block. And inside that are my three cards. Inside those cards, we have an image and a headline. Now we've gone ahead and designed this the way we wanted right now, duplicated all the cards and everything's good. But of course we come back with fresh eyes later and we realize that font really should be bold and there's too much padding inside that card. So what do we do? We go to this first headline here. We go down to the typography panel. We change the weight to bold. We go to the card. We go to the spacing and we change it to maybe 24 pixels of padding. So now we really like this card a lot better than we like the original version, but now we need to transfer that design to each one of these other cards. So we can either click on this text and change it to bold, or we could copy its style, go to the next text and paste it. Now we'll have to do the same thing here for the padding on the box. We can change that to 24, or we can copy these styles and paste it in here. Apparently that didn't even work, so I'll just change it manually to 24. Okay, so now all of our cards are looking the same again. But of course, something's gonna happen down the road where the client wants the image to have some rounded corners, so we have to go through that process all again, going to each one of the images and changing the border radius. Now, this isn't too bad when we're just talking about three cards on a single page, but let's suppose you put these cards across 10 different pages on the website. Each one of these changes is going to take you 10 or 15 minutes to just replicate throughout the entire website. And every time the client comes back with another change, you have to do that process all over again. Now, Generate Blocks does have global styles, which we've been using for a while, but unfortunately it lived in a completely different area of the website, which meant anytime you needed to make changes to those global styles, you'd have to leave the editor, make the changes, and then come back in, which wasn't super efficient. But the new version of Generate Blocks actually fixes all these problems. I'm gonna go ahead and set up another section here and we're gonna style this using classes so we can make making changes very easy to scale across our entire website. So let me start over here where I have my container, my inner container, and my grid. Again, we'll choose three columns and we have a 20 pixel horizontal gap. I'll go ahead and delete the extra two containers here so we can just start with this original one. Now, instead of doing my styling directly to this block, what I wanna do instead is style a class. So you can see we have a new box here that says add or create a style. When you click into it, you can see existing styles on the website and choose from those or create a new one. For simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna call this card and we'll hit create. We'll go ahead and start with an empty style. Now we've been taken into the brand new global styles panel. This should look fairly familiar, but it's actually got a whole lot more new powers inside of it. So let's go ahead and style up this card like we did before. So let's go into our borders and we'll give it a one pixel border. We'll go into our spacing. And again, we'll start off with 40 pixels of padding. Inside of that, we're gonna add an image. We'll go to our media library and select our image. And we're gonna go ahead and give this a class, card underscore image. We'll hit create. Start with an empty class. And underneath the image, we're gonna add a headline block. We'll go ahead and type in electronics and accessories. And instead of styling it, we're gonna add card title. And we'll hit create. Now with the classes attached to each one of these elements, we can safely duplicate these items so we can see what they all look next to each other. Now let's go ahead and make the same changes we made before. First off, we need a little bit of spacing in between this headline and image. So I'm gonna click onto my headline block and you can see I'm still in the global styles area here. 
inside spacing, I'm gonna add 20 pixels of top margin. And you can see all of these changed at once because I'm not styling this individual block, I'm styling the class that all of these blocks share. We could also click onto the title, make sure we're editing the global style, go into typography, go into font weight, and change the weight to bold. As you can see, it changed it across all instances that are using the same class. Another thing I forgot to add originally was getting rid of the bottom margin on the headline so we can go into our spacing and zero that out. Now on our image, we can click it, go to our card image class, go to our borders, and we can give them all a nice border radius. Lastly, if we wanna change the padding inside the card, we can just go in here, make sure our card class is selected, go to the spacing and change the padding from 40 to 24. Just like that, we're able to change the style of multiple elements all at one time. And yes, this will update across the entire website anywhere you use this class. Hopefully this demonstration showed you just how powerful this change to generate blocks is. And the good news is this is only scratching the surface as to what's changed inside these new versions. Over the next couple weeks, I'm gonna be creating a lot more small videos like this to help discover all the new things that are possible as we go through the alpha, beta, and finally the full release. So if you wanna make sure to keep up with all those, hit the subscribe button and we'll catch you in the next video.